I don't believe we met. My name is Pepper. What's yours? My name is Jack. A robot Pepper was designed for retail. If you think about the needs that brands or retailers have in that setting, it's really engagement of the shopper that comes into their store. I'd like to learn more about you. May I ask you some questions? Sure. Great. And so now we're adding on to that platform with the ability to speak to the technology and for the technology to know you through facial recognition. OK, Jack, let me add a face to that name. When you're ready for a photo, look me in the eyes and say cheese. How well I know you is how much better I can make that experience. One of the benefits of having something like robotics is it's digital marketing. That means you can input analytics, not just deliver a marketing message. It actually delivers analytics on the backside. How many people stopped? How long did they get the marketing message for? Which marketing message was better? Just a second, I am connecting with a chef to get his recommendations. Based off facial recognition, we can start to understand, were they happy about that marketing message? Did it not resonate? Facial recognition adds a new element for us in that by being able to connect back to, say, a CRM loyalty database that a retailer already has, connecting that person with that CRM program allows us to understand a lot more about who you are. Perhaps I can then offer up additional items from some of the purchases you've had in the past. Let's shake hands. Very proper. That starts to mean I can deliver a contextually relevant message to you in a way that shopper marketing vehicles like cardboard could never. There's several challenges with robotics. The expectation that shoppers often have is that this robot can have any kind of conversation. Now the reality is that technology isn't quite there yet. The second challenge is just the technical aspects of the place that we're in. You have to have a connection to go up to the cloud to really take advantage of the full range of properties that these pieces of technology have. If you don't have that connection because some of these retail outlets just haven't invested in that infrastructure, then that would be something we'd have to overcome as well. The U.S. retail landscape is a $5 trillion business. If you figure that 10 to 12% of that is e-commerce, that means the rest of it is a brick and mortar setting. $225 billion are spent in the United States alone on what we would generally call shopper marketing or shopper outreach. A lot of it is just marketing messages that are designed for you as a shopper, but are not very specific to you. With Pepper, you actually have a lot more opportunity because it's not a static thing. It's a dynamic piece of technology, meaning it sees you and can call you over. Now I'll recognize your shining face every time you come back. Look, this is you.